Yeah, hi everyone. This is Ashmita from Sorofsis classes. Now, as you can see on the screen, uh, you are going to discuss with me certain questions and their solutions uh, uh, regarding the 2023 question paper of uh, civil services prelims. And uh, here, as I have already mentioned in my other videos, that I would be would be selecting certain questions in each of the videos and I would be discussing them in details. Now, if you want more and more detailed discussions, then you can join our classes. And if you want the solution to the entire question papers, mock tests, live lectures, doubt clearing sessions, then definitely do join our classes so that we can help you out with all your preparation. And here you would get all the expert guidance uh, to ace well in your exams. So yeah, coming back to the questions, uh, let's start uh, from question four. This is civil services paper 2023, as I've already mentioned. Uh, India, consider the following statements. That is the starting of the question. India has more arable area than China. Okay, this is the first statement. Second statement is the proportion of irrigated area is more in India as compared to China. Let me zoom in a bit, otherwise it's really getting difficult. Uh, third one, the average productivity per hectare in Indian agriculture is higher than that in China. So these were the three statements, right? So this is our main question. Hai wo hai. How many of the above statements are correct? Uh, a little bit of printing mistake. How many of the above statements are correct? So, which one statements are here correct? Let's discuss a little bit regarding each of these statements now in a little bit of details. Um, let's take the first one. The first one statement hai, that is India has more arable area than China. Uh, this sentence is absolutely incorrect. Hai. So, I'm putting a little cross over here. This sentence is absolutely incorrect because China uh, compared to India um, has a larger arable area okay compared to India and according to the World Bank kya hai? Uh, according to the study of World Bank in 2020 uh, in 2018 uh, last uh, China had about 135 million hectares of uh, arable land while at that time India had only uh, one uh, Yeah, well, uh, India had a comparatively quite a lower amount of arable land. Okay, so this one is incorrect. Let's uh, let's discuss sentence or statement number two. That is the proportion of irrigated area is more in India as compared to China. So if I go with the proportion of irrigated uh, proportion of irrigated uh, area, um, that is obviously more in India as compared to China. And hence, the statement is correct. So, I'm putting a small tick over here. The statement is correct. Uh, now, according to FAO data, um, as of 2017, lastly, it was 2017, uh, around 48% tw around of India's agricultural land was under irrigation. So, hence, we can say um, uh, irrigated area in India is much more than when compared to China. Whereas in China, you know, with the 2017 report only, I am saying the proportion was around uh, only 22%, okay, if compared with India's irrigated land. So, yeah, the statement is correct. Third statement. Uh, the average uh, productivity per hectare in Indian agriculture is higher than that in China. So, um, this statement is uh, actually incorrect. Okay. Why? Because China generally has a higher average productivity per hectare. Because it's a huge country, we all know that, in terms of agriculture compared to India. And factors such as technological advancements definitely play a very important role over here. Um, when the new agricultural practices are more modern and technologically advanced in China. Mein. And the infrastructure contributes to the uh, Chinese uh, agriculture is very advanced and very developed hai, when compared to India's uh, agriculture, agricultural infrastructure. So yes, uh, the statement, the third statement is definitely wrong. So which one will go? Um, up to let's go with 
option two that is option two was only correct till now so only two only two means option b is our correct answer okay now let's move over to the next question which one of the following is the best example of repeated falls in sea level giving rise to present day extensive marshland let's read the options bhitar uh, kanika mangroves second option Marakkanam salt pans, third one, Nopada swamp, fourth one, Ran of Kutch. Alag se har ek option ko discuss kar lete hain. Among these options which are provided to all of you. Hmm. Um, the best example of... Uh, repeated falls the term uh, that is given over here repeated uh, falls in sea level giving rise to the present extensive marshland would be run of kutch okay it, it is in gujarat hopefully everyone knows this run of kutch is in gujarat so run of kutch ke bare mein thoda sa details mein discuss kar lete hain ki run of kutch ek large seasonal salt marshland hai which is located in the Thar Desert region of Gujarat. Which is our Thar Desert, which is the Rajasthan Desert, which extends a little bit southwards towards Gujarat also. So, these two areas cover this marshland, this is the salt marshland. So, this is the run of Kutch, which lies in the desert region of Gujarat. Obviously, this is in India. And there are certain parts of this which is in Pakistan also. And this uh, area hai, it is well known for its unique landscape which is characterized by salt flats, marshy areas and also shallow wetlands. Now the, the formation of this run of Kutch is attributed to multiple instances of sea level falls and geological processes over time. So these um, salt pans, uh, salt lands which form, hote hai, ye, it is because of the um, low level and high level of the sea. Okay. There, because of the sea level falls, because of the other geological processes uh, that take place over here. Okay. So our correct answer was D. Now let us move over to the next question. That is il Ilmenite and Rutile. Abundantly available in certain coastal tracts of India are rich sources of which one of the following? Ilmenite, uh, Ilmenite and Rutile which are abundantly available in certain coastal tracts of India are rich sources of titanium. Okay, this is your correct answer. That is option D. Il uh, ilmenite and rutile are minerals that contain titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide ka formula hai TiO2. Okay, and uh, this is the main source of titanium, titanium dioxide. So, titanium is a valuable metal which is known for its high strength, low density and corrosion resistance. And uh, it has various applications. It can be used in many applications kar sakte hai in industries such as uh, aerospace industries or automotive, uh, automotive industries or construction industries or electronics industries. Mein. So yes, uh, your correct answer is D. Let's go with that. So that was it for today's class. If you want to discuss more and more in, de in a detailed manner, then you can join our classes. Uske liye aapko description box mein jana parega. Waha pe pura details diya gaya hai. Do join the classes for that. And doubt clearing sessions, live lectures, recorded lectures, portal access ke liye bhi aapko wahi se hi hamaar number mil jayega. 24 into 7 hum log available hai to help you out. And uh, yes, the contact details are given there. And if you have any doubts, do post your comments below in the comment box. Thank you for watching and do follow for more videos.